afternoon wash. Today is Thursday, April 28th, and we have no new announcements today. So we decided that since we are bored with the same old announcements, we would just make up our own today. So here are the fake announcements with one or two real ones somewhere in there. Today at lunch, O&I Camp will be eating 2,567 chicken chili crispitos in order to break the record previous, previously held by Merrick Hull when he wasn't even trying to break a record. He was just hungry. Yeah, he's a hungry kid. Like that. Batman's <laughs> evil nemesis, the penguin, was just spotted in Mr. Sint's room. Wash staff encourages you to avoid this area until Mr. Sint defeats him, most likely using his many gadgets located on his tool belt. <laughs> Little known fact, Mr. Sint is a multimillionaire, has a butler named Alfred, has a timeshare in Gotham City, and he fights crime when not teaching science. I know, he's so cool. And Streeper works for the FBI. And Hennaberry plays for the NBA. And Soares in the NFL. And Mrs. Lang is a wrestler in the WWE. And fun fact, Miss Lobianco fought in World War II. I heard she was scary. She was. Yeah. In Leap News, the underwater basket weaving has been canceled due to oh. the fact that humans cannot breathe underwater yeah. and baskets just aren't that popular. No. Thank goodness they have scheduled a new hot air balloon ride knitting club because scarves <laughs> are super popular trend right now. Especially in hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. Hannah Crampton and Cameron DeLear will look dashing when they run the Pacer and Gym. In fact, they have opened their own PE class style shop where you can get the latest in attire and accessories, which are strictly prohibited in gym class. All of their outfits are guaranteed not to cause injury on the field, and they fully recommend that you wear their clothes directly to school tomorrow as changing beforehand is not in style. It's not. It's really not. Lost and found. If you've been missing a kangaroo that responds to the name Max and is wearing a lovely knitted hat, check the lost and found outside of the guidance because he may still be there, and he's disturbing the office staff. So cute, though. In library news, the Battle of the Books was such a success that we will now be offering Battle of the Bears, Battle of the Butter, Battle of the Barbie Dolls, Battle of the Breakfast Cereal, and possibly, pending office approval, Battle of the Barnyard Animals. More details to come later. Man, I think I'd be good at that barnyard mm -hmm. animal one. Congratulations to Evie Blaine and Alton Hoffman, who all won something awesome for beating the school's pogo stick record, which was previously held by Mrs. Rothert, with yeah. two hours, four minutes, and 58 seconds. They'll probably get rewarded on some day in the near future with something tasty. Yeah, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah. If you're interested in joining the 6th grade bobsledding team or the 7th and 8th grade monster truck club, do not sign up in the attendance office because we don't offer that sport. But if you want to turn in a physical, anyway, we'll keep it on file. Yeah, we keep a lot of those mm -hmm. just on file. Join us for the biggest party of the year where famous personalities Mrs. Hayful and Miss Morrow will be performing for screaming crowds of fans. Make sure to stop by for an autographed photo and some hot chocolate. Also, the kickball tournament has been changed to a Hunger Games style tournament in which students will fight to the death. Oh, wait. Wait, what is it? Scratch that. Now it's a chess tournament. Yeah, such a bad Yeah. Place. This just in. The chess tournament has been canceled. What? I was looking forward to I that. Know. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Here's something that will cheer you up. Any Wahawk that brings $1 million to WTV staff this year gets Mr. House's house. Mm -hmm. That's real. Now it's time for the very real values drawing. Congratulations to Liam Dostal, Kaylee White, Clara Poles, Emma Daly, Isabel Pregler, Kylie Montgomery, and Zion Branch. You guys can pick up your prizes in the office. No, in the library. Library. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Yeah. And it's also time to recognize that April is really Autism Awareness Month. All students are encouraged to wear blue tomorrow to show their support of inclusion and acceptance of our students and family members with autism and other intellectual disabilities. And in honor of Autism Awareness Month, let's take a moment to learn more about it from this segment produced by Duke University. According to the Centers for Disease Control, autism affects an estimated 1 in 54 children in the United States. You've probably heard a lot of thoughts and ideas about autism, but here's an overview of what we know. Autism, Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects a person's social and communication abilities. Persons with ASD also have areas of strong interest and sometimes have repetitive behavior and sensory sensitivities. Autism is sometimes associated with strengths in the areas of visual memory, music, 
art, math, and science, but each person with ASD is unique. Autism is a spectrum disorder and varies significantly from person to person. Some people with ASD may require significant support in their daily lives, while others may need less support, and some live entirely independently. Changes in brain development associated with autism begin during the prenatal period. These changes are associated with differences in genetics. It is possible to diagnose ASD when a child is between 18 and 24 months of age. Early behavioral intervention helps children with autism learn to communicate and socially interact and has a significant impact on long-term outcome. Support for learning social and communication skills can be helpful throughout adolescence and adulthood. People with autism sometimes have other conditions, such as higher rates of sleep disorders, ADHD, anxiety, depression, and gastrointestinal issues. Treating these co-occurring conditions can make a big difference. As adults, people on the autism spectrum can become employed and contribute in important ways to society. The world is a better place if the qualities of people who are neurodiverse are accepted and valued. The Duke Center for Autism and Brain Development provides state-of-the-art interdisciplinary clinical care, conducts cutting-edge research, trains the next generation of scientists, and advocates for public policies to help ensure people with autism reach their full potential. Happy fake birthday to Sasquatch, the abominable snowman, the Loch Ness Monster, the Tooth Fairy, and unicorns everywhere. But happy real birthday to Ava Maples, Nevaeh Brandstrom, Ellie Routley, Ava Schmidt, Nora Nieto, Andrew Ruder, and Levi Wagner, who have birthdays today and this weekend. And now we close with this quote, sincerity, if you can fake that, you've got it made. Have an unbelievably great day, Wash. Good job. Good job. Good.